My name is Holly Freeman. I am the Executive Director of the Math Science Innovation Center. The Nanotechnology Fellows Program is a program that we were able to bring teachers here on campus for eight days during the summer and they work with two of our educators here as well as guest visitors in the nanotechnology field to help teachers explore issues, activities, concepts related to nanoscience that they would then take back to their classrooms. My name is Stephanie Hall and I teach chemistry at Cosby High School. I'm going to get you to mass out one gram of sodium polyacrylate. Uh, sodium polyacrylate is what's in diapers. We've learned a bunch of different applications of nanotechnology and the importance of nanoparticles in the world around us. So what we really want you to pay attention to is what is happening magnitude wise with how little chemical we're using. Forces and interactions play a very large role um, with nanoparticles because the smaller the particle, the more that the forces and interactions play a larger role. And the demonstrations that we did involved showing visually how these forces actually behave. Now the negative ions are right up next to each other, so they're repulsing each other and um, allowing it to expand. I am Lynn Novak, I teach at Powhatan High School. I'm going to put some little mothball flakes, everybody knows that smell of mothball. We tried to pick activities that would illustrate a concept that you can't see, and that's probably the hardest thing about chemistry is you're talking about science that's not observable. And we're going to get a little bit of earwax out of there. All right now you got to take your fingers and touch them down. We can disrupt that by putting a little bit of earwax in there, which creates a wax layer that disrupts that bonding so they can visually observe that the hydrogen bonding was there and now it's disappeared. Well, there's so many different fields with nanotechnology that give us many opportunities in medicine, in architecture, in electronics, physics, chemistry. It's all of these sciences coming together. It's very important for teachers to learn more about science in the world around them, and nanotechnology is a growing science. It is important for them to be able to pass along to their students. <laughs> is that cool? That is so cool. You need to get some water and put water in your Petri dish. Nanotechnology, I think, has finally allowed us to really look at the fact that when you learn science, you can't just learn the concepts on paper. For the students, they're going to really see the application in their own lives and hopefully generate interest. It will allow much more hands-on science. That's why I went into teaching, because I got to touch and manipulate and feel and understand the power of science.